wants her breakfast. She's hungry. We work some bees this morning. Check them out. See how they're doing. <coughs> oh, goodness. You ever feel you get an itch but you can't scratch and <coughs> sneeze when you got a veil on, right? Yeah, we can look in the window, that's a good idea. Oh man, they've built all the way out to the follower board. Nice and active in there. Yeah. Some dirt bobbers. They are starting on this last board. They're just in time. Just okay, in time. Stop. Yeah, look. I'm kicking Damn, cans. Man. This is the first time we've checked on them since. No, probably the second or third. Second or third. Having to come back out. Pulling a nice straight comb. So far, so good, huh? I'm starting to put honey in. There's some capped honey there at the top. Yeah, the bottom is. A little odd shape. Looks like an older there. comb, but the, we haven't seen this comb before because that shape, I don't remember that shape. I think so too. It's like the Alps upside down. This is heavy. Oh wow, a lot of capped honey there on the top. Some brood. Yep. Lots of brood. Our have... queen is marked blue, isn't she? Yeah. Let me see. Blue for 2021. Brood in it, doesn't it? 
is a little bit of honey on the top. A little on the top and the rest of it is... Wow. Very cool. That's crazy. They're doing really well. Yeah, we're going to give them a lot of room. If all those things hatch, they're going to be all over the place. We do have our swarm catcher up. If any, either a yeah, little swarm in case they or a decide split, to split themselves or... Okay, guys, I don't want to hear any more crunching, so get out of the way. You want to? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blown on you. Do I have bad breath? I'm sorry. I just don't want to squish you. Brush him which way do you want him to go? Just out of this crevice? Follower bore. Yeah. How many do you think we should move it? Yeah. Four. That sounds good. Three are already stuck together. Come at the top. Oh, there's a stick down there from the feeder. They stuck it down. Propolis is king, man. There's a crack that are gonna seal it up. Okay, they're fine. What are you spraying? Okay. I think you're moving it slow and then all of a sudden it sticks on the propolis and then it jumps and out. It jumps. There's a lot of bees in there. Happy bees. Okay, you're good for another little bit. I'm sorry, Mr. B. Miss B. Sorry. Yep, yeah, you have one in. Sitting down on their flat. Good. Okay. He's over on here. Yeah. Here's the shade. Blazing down. Yeah. We give it just a little bit of extra insulation on the top from heat or cold. It seems to help. That'll help at least the heat. Look at those. I need to eat that here. There. Now it's not too blazing hot. Cool. Almost cool. Alright. Good? Yep. All set. Alright, good night, bees. Good morning, bees. Oh, good morning, bees. So we had a good season growing tomatoes. But we have sure have learned a lot. Still got a lot of these guys producing. Uh, putting on some really, really pretty nice tomatoes. Um, we've eaten all we can and we sell the rest, kind of like bluebells. So they're doing good. But what we want to talk about is how or why we believe some of these are being lost. So I'll show you what's going on and some of the things we've learned about growing tomatoes for market. All right, so one of the things that we've realized 
um, is we've had some issues with our with our irrigation with the watering. Back in the early spring, uh, we we used the uh, the power uh, power harrow or power plow rotary plow to make these mounds so we can get the uh, the tomatoes up out of the water because our spring rains we just had standing water everywhere. Tomatoes really don't like their feet to be that wet. But over the season, what's really happening? We have this drip tape down here. The drip tape does a really good job of watering. We have it set to run three times a day for about 15 or 20 minutes each. But in some of the, some cases, when you dig down, there some of these are too dry. So um, what we're thinking is that the, a lot of the water it runs through and goes to our, our clay base underneath and doesn't uh, doesn't uh, keep the tomatoes as wet as they should. So next year. We're going to uh, do these a little bit uh, flatter, change our field structure, and maybe put one of these water lines on both sides uh, to see if we can get the, uh, the water to be more consistent. So you can see a lot of the tomatoes that, that should still be producing and should have been growing well have simply burned up. It looks like the, uh, the drip tape being on, on one side, on the back side, has only allowed a lot of the water um, to, to go straight down or to run straight through rather than, than, pull, than um, you know, spreading out like drip tape is supposed to do. So um, we're going to make some changes to the way we do this and hopefully we'll extend our season next year. Mm.